Uh, I remember years later, let me let me say this real quick. I remember years later, my cousin coming over my house <laughs> and she went in my closet. And when she when she opened the closet and she saw my uh my prom outfit there, she was like, Oh, I didn't know you was in the band. <laughs> Y'all, she thought I was in the band. <laughs> she thought it was my band outfit, y'all. Hey, y'all. Welcome to Receiving Related. This is your first time here. I am Tara Walker. I am very glad that you clicked on this video for story time. If you are a returning subscriber, and shout out to my new subscribers. Or if you are just a person who just coming back. Hey y'all, hey. So, I just realized like I've been on this sister streak this week. I don't know what it is, but I've been like pushing out videos um, related to my sister. And this is another one. <laughs> so, uh, but it is what it is. So, um, this story is about my prom dress. Oh, for the people that know my sister and watch this video, I know they're going to run back and tell her this, but it is what it is. Oh, well, you know, I never shared this story with her. I never told her this, but I'm about to tell the world that I didn't like my prom dress. I loathed it. I hated my prom dress. So my sister helped me pick out a uh, uh, prom dress. This was uh, my senior year, obviously, of high school. And my sister is a seamstress, a very good seamstress, by the way. Um, but um, we have different tastes, okay? Um, we have different tastes in style. We have different tastes in clothing for a reason. Because we are two different people. But guess what? She, me, her, didn't know her identity back then and did not know how to say no. And particularly for some reason, did not know how to say no to my older sister. And so I don't know what it was. I don't know if it was just intimidation. And like I said, if I just didn't know who I was, I did a people pleaser. Mm -hmm. That's probably more like it. Don't like to hurt people feelings. Didn't like to hurt people feelings. Listen, child, I have learned, grown, grew up, been healed. And now... <laughs> Oh, she know how to say no and admit it. If I don't like it, I don't want it. It's a no and I don't have no explanation with it. It's what I said, okay? But I ain't have all this at 17. So, uh, we went to pick out um, the patterns for it because I was having it. My mom was having it made by one of her friends who's a seamstress. And so, um, you know, like with everything else involving clothes or being something being made, you know, naturally my mother sends me with my sister because she is a seamstress as well. And so I liked the first piece. It was a two piece, first of all, right? It was a, yeah, it was a two piece. It was a jacket and a, a skirt. I first want, I wanted, first of all, a dress. I wanted a full gown. So I should have, that should have been the first thing I should have said also. Um, now the bottom piece, we were calling the color raspberry. It was a very, very beautiful, uh, more of a darker fuchsia. So I, we, we, I ended up naming it raspberry. Um, and so the skirt part color, I liked, I liked the skirt color. It was, and it was a skirt, it was just a plain skirt or whatever. But, uh, my sister felt like because it was plain that it needed, um, some, some extra bedazzle or whatever with it. So she picked out this other pattern. Now, I think like sequency type of things, because you know history repeats itself, you know, and so styles and stuff repeats itself, repeats itself also. So sequency type of shimmery stuff, you know, you're saying has come back around and more style, but back then it was not, and um, I didn't like my jacket. I I, I didn't. It was like a blazer type of thing. And um, it was very, very, very shimmery, like very shimmery, like disco ball type shimmery, right? Now, here's the thing that's funny about, like I said, about history and its patterns. I could probably take that jacket now and recreate it or have somebody recreate it into something else or uh, just figure out something funky to do with it. Maybe like cut the sleeves off. Something different to do with it now. But back then, listen, y'all, I look like somebody. <laughs> Please. 
please forgive me. I ain't talking about nobody's church mothers. I'm not. But that's what it was given. It was given an elderly church lady mother type vibes. Like, I had this picture. Where do I have this picture? I don't know if it's in my phone. It's it, I had and I recently saw it too because my my sister took the picture of me when I was get when I got in the car. And uh, I remember years later. Let me let me say this real quick. I remember years later, my cousin coming over my house. <laughs> and she went in my closet, and when she when she opened the closet and she saw my uh my prom outfit there, she was like, "Oh, I didn't know you was in the band." <laughs> Y'all, she thought I was in the band. <laughs> she thought it was my band outfit, y'all. I'm not lying. <laughs> and so the seamstress even bedazzled it even more. And she like around here, I think she like put some like some type of rhinestone type of strip or whatever. And it was like um the, the shimmery type of it really you know what it would have been really good for the occasion if there was some type of like uh anniversary. 40th anniversary church banquet type thing i'm kidding you not it because it was nice but it wasn't for prom and it wasn't for a 17 year old but i didn't know how to say i didn't lo i loathed it i loved it i didn't want to tell the seamstress that my mother paid all this money for to get it i didn't want to tell her you know i ain't want to disrespect her but she was only creating what was told to her to create okay but i could not i hated it and y'all not only did I hate it, classmates hated it. Because mm -hmm. when I got to prom, I'm going to throw this in there. It's in my book, too, this story as well. When I got to prom, first of all, I didn't like my class. My class is... Like, <sighs> yes, my class is 1997. Judge your mother, okay? Uh, whatever. I'm not old. But my class is 1997. I did not like my class. I didn't like a lot of people in my class because a lot of people in my class did not like me. My friends were class of 90. Most of my friends were class of 98. And I'm doing this for a reason too. <laughs> but I did not like my class. And I had a lot of people that didn't like me and made fun of me. And there was this one particular girl. I won't say her name. But I still to this day don't know why she ain't like me. And we used to go to elementary school together too. But she was the first one I heard because I knew her voice. So when I walked, I, I went to prom with a, a a friend of mine, a classmate of mine, a female friend of mine. And um, she was talk. She went off to talk to her other friends. And so when I walked, I wanted to dance, right? Because I love music, right? So when I was going towards the dance floor, I heard her say WTF, like, but you know, she said the words, right? And um, out loud. And so obviously when she said that, people followed her gaze to me. And they all bust out laughing at me. Yeah. Yeah. I'm okay. <laughs> I'm okay. I've been healed from it a long time. So so when people would laugh at me, that that was a trigger with me for a long time. But yeah, they laughed at me. Mm -hmm. Laughed at me. They said WTF. She said WTF. Um, no, what the WTF she got on. And they laughed, yeah. Um, so uh, I was uh, I, I hated the I hated prom for the rest of the night. <laughs> I tried, I tried to have fun. I tried to have fun with my friend. Uh, but uh, but the rest of the story is in the book. But that is it for this story. That one I know this one was real short and sweet. But I had to put it out there in the universe. It's already in the book anyway. So, so sorry. Mm, yeah, hated it. Uh, she's probably gonna hate the fact. <laughs> I never told her this story. And now a gazillion people in the world going to know. But sorry, sis. Yeah. And never again. Never, ever, ever again. <laughs> so that is the story. I hated my prom dress. If you enjoyed this story and you are enjoying story time, come back for more, y'all. Because I got more. I, I, I promise you I got more. Remember, people receive when they can relate. If you can relate to anything I said in this story, if you got a prom, ugly prom dress or an ugly tuxedo uh, story, drop a line in the comments and let me know you can relate. <laughs> okay? Subscribe if you already haven't. If you would like to sew into the ministry, those details are also in the description box below. Remember, I love you. But God loves you more. I will see you all next time. Bye.